Coming up, light heavyweight matchup. Boris Griffin welcomes Shogun to the UFC. Our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight matchup. Griffin is three years older than Shogun, two inches taller, and has a three-inch reach advantage. Who is finally here? But Griffin stands in his way. And the action begins. Our referee in charge of this contest is Steve Mazzagatti. All right, gentlemen, you know the rules. We all expect a good, clean, fair fight. You need to obey my commands. Protect yourself at all times. Hook them up. Good luck. Griffin wanted this fight. Now he's got it. Randy the Natural Couture predicts Boris Griffin will upset Shogun here tonight. Honda Center is sold out. Steve Mazzagatti gets us started. We are underway. Shogun comes out quickly. Remember how selective Forrest was with his striking in his last right leg kick. Very good right leg kick by Forrest. Good takedown defense. Ninja tries to take him down. Gives up his back. He rolls. Forrest on top. Forrest got to watch the up kick. And his arm Forrest passes. Forrest gets his back. Griffin Ninja with rolls. a great pace early. Excuse me, Shogun. I keep calling him his brother's name. Forrest stepped away a lot against Hector Ramirez as well. That little stutter step. Inside Get that leg kick. Break. Good leg kick by Hua. And good leg kick counter by Forrest. Good right hand. Forrest wants to keep uh, this fight selective, if you will, Joe. Step in and out. Not let Shogun put the pace. Shogun with the takedown. He's past the half guard. Put the pace at his speed. Forrest brings it back to full guard. They love Shogun. Forrest Griffin here. I can't tell if that's Forrest or Shogun. Forrest controlling Shogun's wrist on the left side. Shogun can't pass. Forrest's work ethic is one of the best in the business. Randy Couture says he literally has to kick him out of the gym. Shogun trying to posture up. Oh, good wrist control by Forrest Griffin. Great control by Forrest. Great avoiding any significant damage so far. Now he's like, locked the hammer fist as well, Joe. Yeah, he's doing a great job there of doing that. Shogun can't pass again. Close guard utilized by Forrest Griffin. I'm impressed so far with Forrest guard. I'm impressed with his wrist control and elbow from the bottom. Yep. You know, a lot of what Forrest's problem was going into, his, like, say, the Tito Ortiz fight was thinking that he belonged there. And I think that Tito Ortiz fight taught him a lot. Absolutely. I think he realized in, in losing a fight by a very close decision, which a lot of people thought that he should have won. And he's up. Uppercut. Again, he used the underhook from half guard to get up. Inside leg kick by Forrest. Avoids a takedown. Got to watch the knees with Shogun. High kick. Forrest. Nice leg kick by Forrest. Shogun pushing forward. Good exchange, both men. And oh, the take take down down. Down. Shogun attempts to sweep, but Forrest gets his back. Shogun's gonna try to roll for a knee bar. He likes to roll in the guard. Good elbow from the bottom by Shogun. Both men striking from the bottom effectively here. Both men deliver a strike. Griffin. Griffin gonna, gonna try to grab a hold of one of those legs and sweep to the side. Let Shogun up. Interesting. Griffin is very confident in his ever-evolving stand-up game. Well, what I like about what he's doing now with his stand-up, he, he's doing, he's being very intelligent with it. He's moving around more, giving more angles. The exchange kicks. Jab connected. Left hook by Forrest. There's a mouse on the forehead of Shogun. 
That's a big knot. Shogun forward with the right. Malfour switches directions nicely. But he ate one. Shogun and the takedown by the Hua. Takedown. Forrest right back up. Looking up at the clock is Forrest Griffin. 45 seconds remains in round one. Good takedown defense by Forrest. He's got a whizzer. Shogun's got him down. Forrest even with the open hands, trying to box the ears a little bit. Griffin training with Extreme Couture now. You got shoot box and extreme couture. Could we ask for anything else? Great defense by Forrest. He's got his back for a moment. He's back on top. Final seconds of round number one. <laughs> what a start. How Great good man. is that? Let's take a look at some of the action in that first round. Here's a takedown by Forrest Griffin. Forrest with a trip. Winds up on top. And here's a left by Shogun. And a left by Forrest. That is a knock. I need you to stay on top. You're doing good when you're on top. You're beating him right now. Don't you, settle for that. You take the Let's go. Grab the stool. Grab the stool. You hear Randy Couture yelling at him. If you underhook, he cannot take you down. Shogun's got his hands full, Joe. I don't think anybody's surprised, though. Forrest always comes to fight. Round two, bring it on! Round two. I think we're seeing a Forrest that's coming into his own. And he realizes he belongs in here with the top fighters in this division. You talked about it. It was right in this building, Tito Ortiz. Leg kick by Shogun. Oh, good body shot. Forrest, good head movement, ducked under. Now Forrest with a couple Forrest. of jabs. That's the one thing that he wanted to do, was utilize an active jab. Keep Shogun on the outside. Shogun drops to a single, he gets the takedown. Forrest goes for a guillotine. He doesn't have an, the arms clasped. Forrest is really doing an excellent job of avoiding damage in his full guard. And a, a lot of younger fighters can really learn from this example. He does a great job of protecting himself from hammer fist punches. He controls the posture. See, look at that. Utilizing, pardon me, that close guard again. He's doing a great job of frustrating him by really grabbing a hold of the wrist, controlling his arms. Forrest came in super confident for this Oh, big right fight. hand by Shogun. Griffin wanted an aggressive opponent, and he got it in Shogun and bloodied up now. Forrest Griffin's right back up. Forrest back to his feet. Oh, but he got hammered. Bad. Got hammered by that shot a moment ago. Forrest has a significant amount of scar tissue on his face. And the takedown. He sweeps the leg and takes Hua down. Some of these UFC vets say, yeah, welcome to the Octagon, Pride guys, but that doesn't mean you're going to walk right into our house and win. He's cut big time. It's hard to see how bad that cut is. A lot of times cuts in the face tend to bleed very badly. Ah, uh, just avoided the knee. It's, it's at the bridge of the nose, it would appear, Joe. Forrest is no stranger to being cut and hurt in a fight, though. Kind of right in the middle of the forehead is, if we can tell from this angle. Stuffs the takedown, spins, takes Shogun's back. If he can pop his leg out, he's got his leg out. Forrest right in front of his corner. Mike Pyle and Randy Couture. Shogun, Shogun takes a deep breath. And lets the hands go down for a moment. Oh, and again. That's not a good sign, and, and Forrest is going to feed off that. Forrest is going to turn the heat up. 
You hear his corner screaming that he's gassing. Inside leg kick by Forrest. He is. Look at his hands, Joe. And look at the way he's breathing. This is a serious pace these guys are setting. Griffin, a workaholic, as we talked about. He should not gas. Should being the key. Well, this is, I mean, it, it's, I mean, this is a sprint. It's almost impossible to not get exhausted in this kind of a fight. But Shogun seems to be the more tired fighter at this point. Griffin ducks under again. Now the blood's kind of traveling into his right eye. You saw him wince there, Joe. With a lot of fighters that could throw them off, but it's not going to throw off Forrest. Like I said, he's been there before, and he eats a left hook. Body shot by Griffin. High kicks are going nowhere. Wow, Shogun looks almost exhausted here. Forrest has really got to turn it up. He can steal this round. Really solidify it. Stop that takedown again. He pulls out. Wow. And he's on top. This is all Forrest Griffin. Forrest has got his back. Shogun slips out. Half guard. Shogun was exhausted before this got to the ground. He's got to be really beaten down now. Forrest Griffin. Maintaining this position, landing some good shots. 35 seconds remains in the round. Shogun looked up at the top. He is exhausted. Griffin, can he finish here? Got the arm pinned. Got the arm between the legs, Joe, and he's teeing off. Mazzagani on top of the action. See, Mazzagani took a good look at him there. Forrest Griffin maintaining his position. He looked up at the clock. He knows there's 10 seconds to go. He's going to try to turn it on now. His arms are so tired, though. You see how slow those punches are coming. What a great finish to round two by the ultimate fighter. What an exciting fight. Quentin Rampage Jackson watching closely. Very interested observer right there. Let's take a look at the elbow that cut Forrest Griffin. Here it is right here. Bang! Right on the bridge of the nose. See his uh, reaction, his facial expression? Like, oh, man. He's one of the best in the world, though. That's a brand new cut. That's not even over scar tissue. Three, three, three. Couple more deep breaths. Well, of course, he's never claimed to be that handsome. He said that many times. Vanderlei looks very concerned. Man, he's got to be nervous for his teammate. Go for it. Third need? and final round. Last round, guys. Bring it on. Forrest Griffin can pull this fight away here in this last round. He's got to be careful, though. Inside leg kick by Forrest. How much cardio does Shogun have left? He's got the takedown. Forrest grabbing a hold of the leg, looking for a triangle. Shogun trying to spin out a guard, can't do it. Very good guard. I was going to say, Griffin's ground Griffin. defense probably looks as good as we've seen it, Joe. Yeah. He obviously trains in all areas. The ultimate fighter, one of the original winners, Forrest Griffin. You hear Steve Mazzagatti tell him to get off the cage, but all he's trying to do is push off of it. Forrest is saying, stand us up. He's not doing anything.
Flores threw a good elbow from bottom position earlier in this fight. Even though he's not doing anything, he's on top. Flores has got to be concerned with how the judges are viewing this. Octagon control. Based on effective striking, grappling, aggression, and octagon control. Those are the rules of the octagon, brought to you tonight by UFC Wire. Shogun going for the, excuse me, Flores going for the Oma Plata. He's got it. Can he finish here, Joe? Yes, he can, and he can get the back as well. He's got the back the now. Flores reverses there, again. Flores is pouring it on here. Knees to the body. Griffin smothering Hua. Shogun's got a hold of that leg. He's trying to take Flores down, but he winds up on the bottom. Forrest in half guard. Forrest keeping that elbow on Shogun's face. Teeing off with the left. Couture predicted Rampage over Liddell. Gonzaga to defeat Troca. Rampage to beat Henderson. And he predicted his teammate Boris Griffin would upset Shogun Hua tonight. If Forrest can get out of this half guard and get to a more dominant position, he can land some real damage here. He's landed some good punches from this position. I wonder if Shogun's got anything left, Joe. Well, Forrest is making him work. He gives up his back again. And Forrest punches him in the ear a few times. Uppercuts underneath. Griffin has established a pace that has gassed Shogun Hua. Knees to the body by Forrest. Shogun can do nothing to up. He tries to roll over into his guard. He's in half guard. And Randy Couture likes to stay in this position. He likes to do ground and pound from this position. And Forrest Griffin being one of his disciples, I'm sure he likes this position as well. Likes to hold on to the leg. Gives him something to put his weight on and keep a guy in that position. Final minute of the fight. The natural in the corner of Griffin. Forrest is sneaking that leg out. He's going to try to mount. You hear Couture yelling? Towards Griffin to posture up. He's trying to get that right leg free and get a full mount here. But he's happy to go from half guard as you talked he's about. Back. He's Final got 30 back seconds of the fight. Forrest got his back with both hooks in. He's flattening him out. 20 seconds remain. He's in deep trouble. Forrest got the rear naked chop. 15 seconds. And it is all over. Forrest Griffin has defeated Shogun. Wow! What a performance by Forrest Griffin! Forrest Griffin has pulled off the upset! And Mike, this is what we were talking about all along. Forrest Griffin just needed to believe that he belongs in there with the top fighters in the world. The Tito Ortiz fight was the beginning of that, and tonight, what an upset! What a fantastic victory for Forrest Griffin! The man who helped redefine! The Ultimate Fighting Championship. Let's take a look at it again. Has beaten Shogun. Not just beat him, but finished him on the ground. Submitted him. He's got that rear naked choke in. And you see There's Shogun There's a tap tapped. on the leg. There it is. You see the right hand on the left leg. Of Forrest Griffin. What a fantastic victory for Forrest Griffin. <laughs> Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Steve Mazzagatti has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 45 seconds of the third round, declaring the winner by tap out due to a rear naked choke for us. Boo.